Have you ever been in the middle of a project only to be stopped dead in your tracks by an unexpected error? It's frustrating, isn't it? Today, we're diving into a common issue faced by developers, the error retrieving parent for item, specifically the one that says no resource found that matches the given name Android text appearance dot material dot widget button colored. I totally get it. You've been working hard on your application and suddenly, out of nowhere, it stops building. You're not alone in this. Many developers have faced similar issues, especially when everything seemed to be working just fine. Let's take a closer look at the specific situation. One user recently encountered this error after months of successful builds. They hadn't changed any code or library versions, yet the build failed with the message about missing resources. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's going on here? This error typically arises when there's a mismatch between the SDK versions or when certain resources are not available in the specified SDK. We'll break down the possible causes and solutions step by step. And stick around. I'll share a crucial tip at the end that can help prevent this issue from happening again in the future. To resolve the error, the user should first check the compile SDK version in their build Gradle file. It appears that the user is currently using compile SDK version 24. Next, the user needs to update the target SDK version. The target SDK version should match or exceed the compile SDK version to avoid compatibility issues. After updating the SDK versions, the user should also ensure that all dependencies are compatible with the new SDK version. This may involve updating the support libraries. Finally, the user should clean and rebuild the project to apply all changes. This can be done through the command line or the IDE. Fun fact. Did you know that the Android SDK has gone through numerous changes over the years? Keeping up with these updates can feel like a full-time job. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user highlights a dependency issue. They resolve the error by ensuring that the Compile SDK version and the App Compat version match. Specifically, they suggest using App Compat version 24.0 or higher if you're building with SDK version 24. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another. An alternative solution comes from another user who found a fix for this issue. They suggest checking a related question on Stack Overflow for guidance. Additionally, they have forked a repository and made changes to ensure compatibility with React Native version 0.42. You can install their version by running a simple command. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution suggests that this error often occurs after updating libraries or changing dependencies. To resolve it, ensure that the SDK versions in your project match those of the updated packages. If the issue persists, review other packages in your package.json for version mismatches. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution provided by another user involves modifying the build.gradle file. They suggest updating the compile SDK version and build tools version to version 25 and 25.1 respectively. Here's the tip I promised. Regularly update your SDK and libraries. This simple habit can save you from many headaches down the road. And there you have it. By checking your SDK versions and dependencies, you should be able to resolve that pesky error. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and keep coding with confidence.